Hey everyone! Welcome back to our ePlan tutorial series for Seminole County Building Division. Today, we'll discuss completing the Pre-Review Corrections task. This is an important step that you'll need to complete so we can get your plans to plan review. First, start by logging in to ePlan. Once you log in, you may select the Pre-Review Corrections task directly from the dashboard or you may select View All Projects. If you select View All Projects, click on Task New over on the left. If you see any task listed here, then we're waiting for you to complete that task so it notifies Seminole County that you're ready to proceed in the review process. Let's click on our Pre-Review Corrections. When this task opens, you'll see the task instructions. Read over these. These will guide you in completing your task. The first step is to find out what our comments are. Once you click on Review Comments, you'll see the unresolved items. Ensure you address each unresolved item to prevent any further delay. It looks like we need new construction drawings with a verifiable digital signature. It looks like our engineer is missing the required language. And also the architect or interior designer did not include an image of their seal on each page. Now keep in mind that your design professional needs to send you individually signed and sealed plan pages. If you get sent a multi-file set and you split them up on your own, you will break their digital certificate that we need to verify to proceed to the plan review. Now that we know what our corrections are, we can close that window. You may select save for later until you receive those revised files, but in this example, Let's just say that we have them already. The next step is to upload those files. You have two options, version files and new files. You may expand the drawings folder and see what we have in there. Typically, if it's your initial review and we're unable to verify the drawings, we will remove them and you can use the new files tab to upload all of your documents. If you have a larger project that may contain multiple design professionals, we will remove the incorrect ones and leave the ones that were verifiable. You will upload anything that you need to version over if you were doing, say, a revision on a permit that's been issued. The next big question is, are your files named exactly the same as the previous version? Again, if you don't see them here, you could upload them under New Files. This here is for already uploaded files that you want to version over. So in this case, let's say we had changes to our cover sheet. We could select No, and then on this page, it'll always read the file folder and then the file itself. So you see your application document, so we need to get down to drawings, and then there's my cover sheet. Once I select the file, it'll open a location on my computer where I have that saved off. Ensure that you are versioning over the correct file. You may accidentally put your cover sheet over your plumbing plans, and then you would have corrections to submit your plumbing plans. This is also your last opportunity to delete the file if you upload something in error. You may select the red X and it will delete the file. In this case, I'm going to start my upload. Now I've uploaded my revised cover sheet. Now I want to upload the remainder of the documents. Once you click on the drawings folder, your upload button will appear and then you could select the remainder of the files that needed to be corrected. Again, this is your only opportunity to delete the file by clicking the red X. 
Let's start upload. There's a key here at the bottom that'll let you know orange is new files, blue are version files, and red are either in an incorrect format or already exist in the project. Okay. Now we could verify we have all of our documents in there. Our drawings are properly named according to Seminole County's naming convention, which will always begin with the prefix of 001, the page number, and brief description. And then 002, page number, brief description, and so on until the entire plan set is uploaded according to the plan index. Now that we've verified that information, we confirm that we've addressed all unresolved review comments, and then we'll click Submit to notify Seminole County that we're ready for review. And that's it. You've successfully completed your pre-review corrections task in ePlan. Remember, taking the time to review your corrections carefully can save you from further delays. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more ePlan guides. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your project.